Hi everybody, Lamkin here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do the uh, guaranteed nunchuck follow-up attack after a successful slide. So first of all, this video right here is gonna assume that you already know how to do the slide, but in case you don't, I'm just gonna explain it real quick and I'm gonna say that I do have a slide tutorial on my channel, it's in a playlist, and I'll also be linking it in the description of this video. Uh, and I have a really good easy beginner method how to, to do slides as well, apart from the manual inputs. Um, so yeah, if, uh, if you're unsure about how to do the slides, check that video out, but uh, like short version is that you're gonna have to do a down forward to down to down, down forward input like that. You're just gonna have to do a little bit quicker than I did here. It's for demonstration purposes. It's gonna look something like this. And you'll see he'll get this little like animation, this cr little crouch dash, like pseudo crouch dash animation. And by at any point in this animation, you can press free like that and he'll do a slide. And then he will wake up in a back turn position to the opponent, unless you're hitting it at tip range, of course. But, but this is basically what's gonna happen. So what, what you can do is after a successful slide, you can turn around and get a guaranteed nunchuck uh, follow up attack like this. Uh, but as, as you may, may have noticed uh, there, if you're not fast enough, you, your opponent can stand up and block it. Like that. And you'll be minus 12 and you'll most likely be punished for it. Um, so how to avoid this? Well, a lot of you guys have also told me in comments of pre previous videos and in the live chat of my uh, um, on my live streams that you're often getting the back turned 1 plus 2 input which is this one right here, the backhanded fist, uh, right, when you try to do this. What this means is that you are probably being a little bit too fast with your input. You're pressing one plus two too fast because you are not, uh, you are in back turn position when you pr press one plus two. You're gonna wanna uh, do the slide, do the slide, then turn around and then one plus two. Oh, this is a very slow version, right? It's gonna look like this. What you can do is, when, when the slide actually connects, you can already press and hold back. If you notice my command history right here, I'm already pressing and holding back while the slide is connecting. So th what this does is that as soon as uh, you are out of the slide animation, the exact, the exact frame you're out of the slide animation, he will, he will start to turn around. You see? And it is when you see this, this turnaround animation, this animation right here, right? This one. This is when you can press one plus two. As as soon as you see the beginning of that animation, one plus two. there you go. You see? And if you're too fast, you'll get uh, back turned uh, one plus two. If you're too slow, you will be able to block it like that. So. Do the slide, press and hold back, turn around, one plus two. That was a little bit too fast there, you see? A little bit a little bit too slow. Goldilux and the three bears, you know, the third time it's just right. So that's how you practice it. It can be pretty tricky to get the timing exactly right. But with prop proper practice you can you can have a very high percentage uh, success rate on this. Now again, this is assuming that your opponents just stand straight up, right? If, if they roll back or do anything, it's going to be much easier landing this consistently. But people who know how to stand up straight, it will, you will have to do this perfectly, pretty much. Like that. But you can do it pretty consistently here. So yeah, I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you uh, need advice or guidance on anything else, let me know in the comment section. I'll maybe make a video about it. Other, uh, other than that, have a good one.